Right, someone was actually asking about the bland Altman plot. So we have these two chats. One of them should have an example. Yeah, there's an example there. So it generated it in like two seconds in the uh, Python with the code and everything. The code works uh, obviously locally as well, which is great. So I can reproduce the example and I can actually obviously use my own data for it as well. So that's the code. Yeah, I can add more data there. I can run it locally. Yeah, and it's creating this uh, blend Altman plot, which is difference between two measurements uh, versus average of two measurements. So yes, in this case, when I have those extra ones there, yes, the average between 110 and 120 is uh, 115 and the difference between the measurements is uh, minus 10 so it's putting another dot over here so it's working as expected i was thinking doing something more interesting with it well first of all is a potential um, blend almond plot in eg blah 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 so yeah when we comparing two different eg channels in the same uh, recording so let me know what you think of that and we can uh, turn it into another uh, web application that will look something similar to, to this uh, eg noise removal except you will choose two channels and we'll show you the blend outman plot as a comparison between two channels we actually have a tool like that already uh, which is actually using cross coherence function Yes, we can improve on this interface quite a bit. Yeah, coherence is cross-correlation in the frequency domain uh, between two channels. You select your two channels and it will show you the cross-coherence between them. Let me know if you had the chance to look at the website as well, because I'm open for any feedback. So yes, yeah, so we might later turn this into a web application, a Flask uh, web application as well. But for now, let's stick to what we were doing last time, and that's this spectrogram.